you should be buying from companies that are not falling to the woke left. Home Depot, so far, is one of those companies. So, here's what we're doing. And I encourage you to do the same. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna buy some stuff, and then I'm gonna leave. All right, as you can see, I just went shopping at Home Depot. You should do the same. This wood, this board, this magnificent piece of poplar is now mine. Leading practices. Unpacking the privilege. Yes, let us unpack it. Privilege, noun, a special benefit or advantage that may be earned or unearned. But I have earned this. I have struggled through the muck in order to obtain it. It is mine now. Why do you look at me like that? It's because you covet it. You want what belongs to me. You shall not have it. I will not give it to you. I shall only give it to my children by having intercourse with my wife. And my child shall have the privilege, not you. It belongs to my children. A social privilege. It is a special, unearned advantage or entitlement. Who gets to decide it is unearned? I have struggled for this. Do you know what I did? I got born. I came out from the uterus, gasping my first breath into the world, and it was painful, so I cried. And all of this was so I can get this privilege. It is for one's benefit, of course, like the member of the aristocracy of world. The blood of my ancestors flows through me and gives me the privilege. These groups can be advantaged based on social class, age, disability, or ethnics. That is right. I have the advantage. How does a multi-billion dollar corporation get to look at me with those coveting eyes wanting my advantage? No, I will not give this advantage to the Home Depot. Home Depot, get your own advantage. You do not get to take it from me. White privilege, societal privilege that benefit white people. What is white people, though? Are European white? Are Russians white? Is Bashar al-Assad white? Home Depot, you need to be precise in your definitions. What are you doing playing the educator if you cannot have correct definitions? What if I have mucho love with a Mexican individual, a brown folk? If I have mucho love with that, is the child going to be white? Home Depot, how can I know the truth if you do not educate me? How much money do I need to pay so you can give me a proper education so I can put on my resume? Where did you study? At the Home Depot. It came down there and they educated the shit out of me. What privilege looks like. If you're confident that the police exist to protect you, you have white privilege. I don't think any filthy government organization can protect me. I'm an American, I get a gun, I protect myself. When the rider came on a horse, and he went, the British are coming, the British are coming. Did the police do something? Did the cops do something? Nay, they did nothing. Who protected themselves? It was the American people with their muskets. If while growing up, college was an expectation of you, not a dream, you had class privilege. The expectation of me was to infiltrate Home Depot, go through the ranks of their organization until I reach that sweet, sweet HR spot, that place of ultimate privilege where I can decide the policy at the Home Depot. And like a mastermind, I get to puppeteer everyone at that company and slowly take it over into my imperial ideological dream where I get to socialize human beings and get all of them to think the same and then oppress them by forcing them to labor at Home Depot. And if they complain, I then divide them based on class and identity and I say, no, don't look up. Don't look up to HR. Don't look up to your bosses. Look amongst yourselves. It's the class conflict that puts you in this predicament. It's the identity, the problem is amongst your workers, so keep them confused so they're not unionizing. That was my dream, and that is what I did. If you can expect time off from work to celebrate your religious holidays, you have Christian privilege. Yes, but I don't have Christian privilege. I have Christian imperialism, motherfucker. I expect that every person, Christian or not, 
are going to stay home this Christmas and they're going to enjoy time with their family whether they want it or not. That is Christian imperialism. I get to dominate other people who aren't Christian. You're going to stay home this Christmas and you're going to get a bonus. How's that? Oh, do you like it? Do you want more? Do you want more? Well, Easter is coming and you're going to get more. You're going to get more because here at Home Depot, we dominate people with our holidays. You get to stay home and you get to be happy. Rather, they come to work. If you can use public bathrooms without stare or fear of anxiety, you have cisgender privilege. That's right. And I want, I want cisgender imperialism. Everyone should be able to stay at their bathroom and be able to not have fear or anxiety. I am going to create a horrible dystopia where people can go into the bathroom without stress, without fear, and without anxiety. <clears throat> Man, this video is going to leave me without a voice. If you don't have to worry about how to get into a store, you have able-bodied privilege. That's right. I earned this privilege. I earned it by avoiding accidents when I sought to get a job. I could have gotten a job at Home Depot, but I said, nay, nee, accidents can happen there. It's a dangerous place. It's not a safe place. So I chose to go into HR, human resources. And because of that, nothing fell on my head. I didn't cut my arm in anything. So I earned this privilege by working at HR. If you don't have to explain that your spouse is of the same gender, you have heterosexual privilege. Jokes on you. I'm a progressive man with progressive principles and no one would look at me. So I have no spouse. There is no spouse. But I still want that privilege. One day I will get the spouse so I can work to covet, to covet some privilege that I don't have because this is the role of a human in life. It takes the privilege. It looks at the privilege, it covets it and it takes it. This is why you need to make sure that Home Depot doesn't take the privilege away from you. Because that's why Home Depot was built. Like It tried to create the illusion that is there to offer a service. But in reality, it's greedy people that got together and now they're coveting your privilege. So Home Depot wants what's good for you. You need to make sure that it doesn't get to take it. And then we can check our privilege. Bow before me, mortals, and despair. I'm like a medieval king. I have so much privilege that when I walk through the aisles of the Home Depot, I expect everyone to just fall onto their knees and worship me because I work at HR. The human resources. That's how I treat other humans as resources. Why is it uncomfortable to talk about white privilege? Because we give comments disabilities. And because we only talk about this from a position of power. Like what is the puny employee going to do about it when his boss tells him and educates him? Is he going to talk back? No! Because this ideology can only be taught from a position of dominance and strength. This is why I'm a progressive. Because I love the red Mars's fist clenching the workers together and socializing them until they have the exact same ideas and exact same thoughts. Molding human beings like this is what gets me up in the morning as an HR person. But I'm going to get in trouble for making this video, aren't I? Uh, but honestly, it's absolutely hilarious. Uh, by the way, this is a comedy skit. I, I know that some progressive people, they, they don't understand comedy and we live in a dangerous place where Babylon B has just been banned from Twitter. Uh, but, look, like, come on, it put a smile on your face, admit it, you know. You're going to get angry from this video, but like deep inside, deep, deep inside, you are smiling, you're having fun. And this is why you came to my channel, so you can fucking relax for a bit. You know, you turn on the television and it's gloom and doom on every news channel. But then you come to my place, to my ha 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 sienda, and I make you laugh. Alright? I make you laugh. And you know what? I can share you some of my privilege if you want it so much. We can make children, we can make love. See, Home Depot has awakened knowledge inside me. I now see the world with the eye of Shiva. Like I have the third eye which opened in my forehead after being educated by Home Depot. 
I understand that in this world, there are people with privilege. So you are a bad parent if you don't give your children privilege. Like privilege, as you can see, is not earned. So what you can do is you can seduce a person with privilege and then have children with them. Now, you're not going to get the privilege, but your children will. So a good parent gives privilege to their kids. Is this correct, Home Depot? Did I understand? Look, if I haven't, I'll, I'll come in again tomorrow. I'll, I'll do my best. I'll try to be better, Home Depot. I, I'm struggling to understand this ideology because it's so complicated. You know, like people spend hundreds of thousands of dollars and they go to a gender study university and they lecture there and then they get student debt. But like Home Depot is trying to do this for free and free is a cheaper alternative but cheaper is not always better so sometimes you can end up with people like myself who are absolutely confused like i i don't know that did, did i get it correctly like if, if there is like privilege on earth it's kind of like the medieval system where you have the aristocracy and the peasantry so if you're a peasant it's your duty to seduce an aristocrat so that you can pass on the aristocracy to your future generation is this correct? Am I, huh? Is this, is this what Home Depot tries to say? I don't know. Uh, are you against mixed marriage, Home Depot? I hope you're not against mixed marriage because that, that would be very problematic. I mean, that, that would be incredibly racist, Home Depot. Tell me that's not the case. So if, if my solution is wrong, please tell me why it is, right? Again, in a medieval society, if you're a peasant, the best thing you can do is to seduce and marry an aristocrat. And, and then you can have children that can then inherit all the privilege from their aristocratic father or mother. Boom, baby. See? Home Depot. Bah. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.